I would like to share the experience uh, of uh, being in the industry from last, uh, from say starting of the industry. I was uh, working in several companies supplying components and talking to most of uh, say the developers and EPCs in India and I have got the opportunity to almost speak to everyone. So what I have, I would say the industry first started as a module manufacturing industry in India. Everybody came as a module manufacturer and started putting lines and started producing modules with an ambition to supply to countries like US and Germany and then suddenly the government came with a uh, uh, national solar mission and wanted to do a lot of installation. So a lot of companies come in, jumped in to, uh, to do the installation. Then again the market shifted from a module manufacturing perspective to a uh, uh, installation uh, market. Today again I think the market is going back to a module manufacturing uh, cycle because uh, now everybody only, I think today only the model manufacturers are making money, everybody else is losing money uh, in the market today. And uh, uh, as uh, my fellow panelists have talked about a lot of O&M issues, quality issues, uh, in, initially when uh, uh, I was discussing with several companies, there was not, they, nobody was talking about standards. Nobody wants to buy a standard product. There was no uh, requirement of any standard for say module, inverter, cable, connectors. This this was not even mentioned by MNRE in the National Solar Mission initially. And uh, we had chance to meet some of the people in uh, MNRE, we discussed with them and there was, uh, then they started putting up these standards for uh, these components. So now we see today they are talking about in bringing in BIS, uh, approved products with module inverters. So the, the, the standardization of co components is giving, given uh, uh, say a uh, weighted now because uh, today uh, I would like to ask you a question. Today I think 15 or 17 gigawatt is installed in India, uh, total installation base. But how much is performing? What is the percentage of that 15 gigawatt which is actually giving a, a, a output? Nobody has that figure because that is not been published, not talked about. Nobody wants to uh, come up and say, I have a problem, my system has a problem, this is my problem. I would like to share my experience with you and show you and how to improve that. Nobody wants to talk about that. I have, I have discussed with several customers where they had problems but they never wanted to talk or improve it. They just wanted to hide it so that the name is protected, they save their job because they have taken a decision to use that component or choose that component to uh, put in their project and now they have no answer to the management why this uh, component or uh, the project is not performing. There are projects where the power, uh, say, uh, output from the project is dropped by more than 50% within one year. But they don't want to do anything about that because they just want to hide, they just want to play. And these are not small projects. There are projects of 100 megawatt scale where there are problems. Maybe some of the people are in this room aware of those projects, but I don't want to name any anything. But I just want to uh, talk about that. Today we are talking about that the the, uh, the government is trying to disrupt the market. But the the I think the signal of this is given by us only by give, giving aggressive bidding and. Uh, talking, uh, reducing the price to two or three rupees, which is actually not possible to build up a plant for, which could run for 25 years. I don't believe that in a plant which is uh, designed for 25 years will cost uh, three rupees uh, and in the current price levels. So there, there are people who are trying to get aggressive as Mr. Amit mentioned that because there are only few projects available, everybody wants to take that. They want to do something, so they want to show something. So that, that is a problem uh, which probably we have to highlight. And especially the, uh, if we are building the right project with the right quality of components, then we don't have to give too much worry about the O&M and other aspects of the uh, system. And we can do our preventive management and at least run the system for more than 20, 25 years. So this is what I want to say. Thank you.